You want it? No. Whoa. Jay. Jay, you're like. I gotta say it. Hang on, hang on. You're like multiple, multiple commandments broken in. You're walking up on the stage. You're you're bashing people. You're using special dirty words like fuck. Hey, get off, get off the stage. Okay, guys, I'll tell you what. I will, I will set my time, my magic timer. I will give you five minutes. You guys get this out of your system and behave. Fine. No promises. Hi, kids. You ready to do this? This. It's heckling 101, kids. And before you start throwing out all of your positivity pill crap, this is tough love. Get used to it, so sit down and listen up. Point one. Point number one. It's very simple. Not everything that pops into your pretty little head should come out of your pretty little mouth. True heckling, it flows like water out of your filthy, ugh, that thing you call a mouth. You don't even have to think about it. It just comes out. Anytime something truly brilliant needs to come out of this mouth, it's going to be halfway out of your mouth before your brain even realizes it. If, if you have to think about your heckle, shut up. Please. Number two. Don't heckle the rules. Don't heckle the monologue. Here's why. This sets the tone for the whole show. There's a lot of newbies here that aren't used to this. This sets the tone for future heckling. We want them to understand this is fun and jovial and we're just kidding around. Which leads into number three, okay? There is a thin line between jovial, wonderful, ha-ha, we're having and a good time. And hate fucking. Which happens, okay? Don't hate fuck that, that person that's coming up to do beat poetry for the first time, they're scared to death. Leave them alone. Try hate fucking monkey or I. We're much easier targets. That, that is easy. It's easy to call Jay a drunk. It's easy to call monkey, you know, kind of, uh, a garbage dick. Really? This is funny coming from the guy that looks like a stock character from a Kevin Smith movie. At least I don't look like background flavor from Dazed and Confused. Dude. Which leads us into number four. Number four. Why and when it's okay to heckle. First. Now would be a good time! Dead space happens! If you hear some dead air, oh my god, nobody knows what to do. Oh shit, somebody dropped a microphone. Oh, I'm not quite ready yet. Then you yell. <laughs> Get it. That is another thing. We're going to come back to that. We're going to come back to that. Another good time to heckle. When the mood is a little bit starting to wane. Because you know people, there are some truly talented folks who come up to this stage and they bear their soul. Uh huh, uh huh, yeah, right upside his head. They're in the bathroom with your mom. Aya! Now moving back to my point. Moving back to my point, there is a time where shit gets real up here and people really do bare their souls. And nobody knows exactly what to say afterwards. And that's when you need a big purple veiny dick joke to bring it on back to the room. This is true. And, and well, I, heard, I heard that that sin, I, yeah. that's what she said. You yeah, know the, what? The, the, the world's easiest heckle. Oh my God, you are so damn original. Did you hear it on The Office? We might as well just make fun of Russ's pants at that point. His pants are easy to make fun of. We know he's funny looking. He's got toothbrush eyebrows. Leave it alone. But the biggest reason we heckle kids, and it's the most simple one, is that everybody loves to laugh. It's, it's simple. You. We want to bring joy into your soul and into your life. It's not hard. It's not difficult. But we try. So before... I go anywhere near this. I just, I wanted to ask a couple of questions. Ask Dude. away. Okay, because I want to make sure that we, I mean, because I, I think we get what you're trying to say. The message here is to not go for the, the, the little tiny heckle, the lame heckle, or the really thought out heckle. I should never go for something like, uh, I don't know, it's so good that we have our own redneck Statler and Waldorf to make this Muppet show on mescaline complete. <laughs> is that the sort of thing you're saying? 
or, or wait, 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 or, or bro, wait, wait, let me, let me make sure I understand before we continue. We don't want to get into, you. what did you call it? Oh yeah, hate screwing, hate fucking, is that what you called it? Because I want to be absolutely sure I understand that you guys provide a service. You're that line that we should not cross, because if we cross it and smell shame and banana daiquiris, we've gone too far. <laughs> Wait a minute. Shame, apparently. Well, let me let me make sure I understand fully before I before I, I I wrap this up. Before you guys, you know, make your meta point here, you guys have answered a question. You guys are important. All my life, I always wondered what would happen if Disney made a Hunter Thompson movie, and there it is. Now get off the stage before I bleach it. Ladies and gentlemen, your MC.